<laughs> How blessed it is to be me. To be me. I don't even have anything to talk about, but I see a rainbow back here. Just gleaming over the house. You can't really see. You can see it. Hey, and it's a double rainbow. You know what that means? Double the luck. That's the twice. I've seen that twice. Double fucking rainbow. You know, it's kind of crazy because I really didn't have much to say. But I figure I'd just go with the flow. Go with the flow. You know, it's sad to say that in order to really get things done, there's no way around a routine. There's no way around it, right? But create a routine that you enjoy. So many times we create these fucking routines and we just like fucking force them in our lives. And they don't end up working. We don't stick to them. Maybe for a month, maybe a couple months, but then we fall away from them. And then we go into this endless cycle of doing that. And then we think it's us. But all it is is us forcing something that shouldn't need to be forced, should be flowed into. So find out what routine you could create for yourself that will create flow. You know, like make stretching fun, you know? Don't push yourself too hard where it super hurts. Make it enjoyable. Find out what it will take to make movement, fitness, nutrition enjoyable. Find out what it is that will make your goals enjoyable. Find things that you want to do. You know, I'm writing this book and I'm doing, you know, whatever I got to do to get where I want to be. And I noticed that when I get behind the computer or behind the notepad, everything just flows. It really does. It just comes out of me. It just flows out of me. Very minimal effort. The biggest fucking effort is getting me behind that fucking computer screen and sitting me there because I have all these fucking outdated programs. I don't want to call them bad programs. Lose that fucking good or bad, up and down, happy, sad shit. It's in alignment, out of alignment, up to date, out of date. Look, we even got some rain, cleaning the aura. Look at that. How about that? How about that? So make it fun. I just lost my train of thought because of the rain, but make it fun. Make it enjoyable. That's what it's about. That's the key to life is making it fun, not dreading it. And it's all mental. It's all fucking mental. So you have to ask yourself, how could I make this fun? How could I make this enjoyable? I mean, I'm out here in the fucking rain. Look, it's sun shining. Fucking rainbow in the back. This is some divine shit going on here. This is life. This is the perks of life. And if you can't enjoy this, you ain't gonna enjoy much. Because whatever gets your attention is not gonna keep it. It's not gonna keep it. Thank you, Mother Earth. I am truly grateful. So, get your routine down. Sit your ass down, get a pen and paper, find out what it is that you wanna do that will be fun to you that will make your day fulfilling, where you could lay down in bed and be like, you know what? I got shit done today, that felt good. And then do that again, and then do that again. And that's what it's all about. You know what I mean? I'm all about routine, right? I know mornings are important, but I don't like to be feeling like I'm forced to do anything. I allow it to flow together. So what I do is, I picture how my morning already is. And then I say, how could I structure that in a way that is more flow and more productive? Because sometimes, my, well, most of the time, I'll get up out of bed, give gratitude, come down here, eat some Kratom, get the coffee going, come back here, sit by the altar, contemplate, grab my coffee, probably go vape or smoke something. You know what I mean? And it's like, balance is key within that. So how can I make that more productive? I realized it is not in my best interest to wake up and just surrender to these programs, to surrender to the coffee, to surrender to the Kratom. It has to be in alignment. First things that you do in the morning have to be in alignment with what you want to accomplish. So if you're first, if your goal is to get into shape, 
then put your fucking shoes on and get out that door. No excuses. Get your ass out there. Because the moment that you just step out that door and start walking, just walk. Not even saying you're going to run. Just walk. Get out the fucking door. Whatever it is, just get doing it. You know, and I noticed I did that today. I didn't, I didn't think about fucking Kratom. I didn't think about coffee. But I did think about nicotine. I'm not going to lie. I use, and that's what's it's weird. It's fucking weird. Like, I use that as an excuse to get out the door because I didn't have any, any fucking nicotine in the morning. You know what I mean? Petty shit like that. But it's all good. These fucking programs are out the, they're on their way out. Just know that. Like, when they start becoming real fucking controlling, real strong, and they come into the surface, but you're aware of them, just know they're fucking out their way out. Toodaloo, bitches. Toodaloo. So, I create my routine. I got my little pen and paper. Got my goals. Go over my goals. Keep my vision in sight. When I find myself thinking about senseless ass shit that really doesn't serve me. Whether it's worry. Whether it's lusting. Whether it's fucking wondering. Well, wondering falls under worrying sometimes. Um, whenever I find myself falling into these mindsets that really don't serve my highest good, like for example, say I'm going to go start dinner or I'm going to eat and I'll fucking go through this whole process in my head. Like, oh, I need to do that. And then I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And like, no, you're not going to do any of that shit. Fucking stop. We're going to flow this shit. This shit's going to flow together. And I find myself kind of thinking about the shit that I'm going to do when all I have to do is just do it. I don't even have to think about it. And that's a program. You have to be aware of what you're spending your mental fucking awareness on. <laughs> you know, your mental energy. That's energy. Why do I need to think about something that is already a program that all I have to do is just do it. I don't need to think about it. So be aware of this that is going on. And that's all it takes is awareness and gratitude. Fucking gratitude. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you this. And this came from a guy on uh, YouTube named Phil Good. I recommend you check him out. But he says, until you make peace with where you're at in life, your present moment and all its circumstances and all the people and where you're at, until you make peace with that, you're not going to get to where you're going because you're too focused on where you want to be and you're not being thankful for where you're at. So until you find that fucking gratitude for where you're at in life and how far you came, regardless of where you're at, you could always find some light and some darkness or you could always shine a light on some darkness, I should say. Find it. And if you wonder why I'm talking low, I got roomies upstairs and I got a very loud voice. It's very hard. It's very difficult for me to keep a low voice. <laughs> it's a struggle. But that's it. You know, find your routine. Routine is everything. It makes you feel fulfilled at the end of the day. Picture the day. Think of the day where you laid in bed all day. You watched Netflix. You ate some fucking garbage. You did nothing productive. You barely moved your body. And you felt like shit, right? Mentally, you were like, God, I feel like shit, man. And you just kept on falling deeper, deeper into it. But you kept on surrendering to the Netflix and the food and the bed and the non-movement, right? And your day didn't get any better. If anything, it got worse. Or at least your mental state did. Your state of being, which is everything. And then think of the days where you woke up fucking sunshine and you felt grateful you said thank you got the moving got your drink of water everything started flowing together you felt more productive was focusing on your vision on your goals you exercised you moved you cooked dinner you did some good things for some people whatever it just was an all-around good day you did that you were in control of that and you were in control of you sitting in the fucking bed all day and then you have to ask, which one felt better? 
And what fucking decision am I going to make today? Do I want to feel like that and lay in my fucking filth and my sorrow and my fucking uncertainty and my lack, 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 unworthiness? Or I'm going to fucking take action because I know what I'm capable of. I know where I'm going. There ain't no fucking stopping this. That's one thing I realized. I was like, how am I going to do this? <laughs> and then I had a fucking... Some people call it clear audience. I just call it the fucking voice in my head saying, don't worry, you're not doing it. <laughs> it's being done through you. Quit fucking worrying. And it gave me a sense of relief. I was like, wow, that's right. I don't have to worry because I'm not doing this. It's being done through me. And once you get a lot allow that and accept that in your life and get out of its way life becomes effortless oh that's fucking not hot that's a difficult one no and life's never effortless don't let anybody fool you but it at, at certain times in your life it could feel that way you know let's just say like 80 20 80 20 80 percent of the time it feels pretty effortless and then the other 20 time 20 percent that's that struggle that's there to make you better, to get you better. Embrace it. Quit looking at it like it's fucking there to hold you back. No, it's there to get you better, make you stronger, and propel you forward. That's it. That's it. You are a creator. You're creating this. You're creating it by every fucking label you put on something. You are creating it by your perception, by every belief you believe. You're creating it by every time you walk in to a situation, you act like you know what's going to happen. That's you creating it. You know what's going to happen. And you can uncreate it by saying, I don't know. I don't fucking know. And you know what? It feels fucking really good not knowing. And just going with the flow. Just going with the flow, baby. But I'm going to finish my routine, right? I'm going to make it fun. I'm going to make it fun. I'm just going to focus on what I want to create. And when I find myself falling into that space where I'm focusing on what's not there, pull your ass up out of it. Have a beautiful day. And love yourself.